Tonight, you'll meet 43 of Idaho's fastest growing companies. We're a homegrown company founded right here in Idaho. So many people have no idea where Idaho is. I'm proud of our Idaho roots. I grew up here, my business partner has spent 20 plus years here. A large group of us were born and raised in Idaho. And to be able to grow our business here in Idaho has really been, I think, one of the best things about being here. Kind of being an underdog in some respects, right? Where, you know, where are you from? Oh, we're in Boise, Idaho. Companies seeing big growth. We were founded uh, at the old Thomas Hammer coffee shop, and we are now 25 people. That first month we added 16, the next month we added like another 50. Within a few months we were up to like three or 400 customers. Seven years later, and this year we're on track to do $40 million in revenue. Growth provides opportunity for our staff and our, our team members. We changed some things about the company, which led to a lot of really good organic growth here locally. And those four engineers in 2009 became more than 1,000 employees worldwide. Our company has grown since then by investing every penny back into the business. We're just growing every year, revenue's growing, the number of consultants we bring on board is growing. Fueled by great teams. And my team is just incredible. I could not do it without them. I mean, I, I really think we're most proud of the team. Yeah, our keys to growth, it has to be our, our team, our employees. We have a, an amazing team. Uh, best in class. What I'm proud of the most is the people in the organization. We're going to do everything we can to make sure we keep going and growing, and that's because of the people we have. What's been most exciting for me is creating opportunities for our employees to, to step up. All of us consider each other family, so we really do bond and work as a team. Boise Dev presents the very first Peak 43, presented by Scoggin Capital Investment. Welcome to the inaugural Peak 43. Tonight, we're going to celebrate the 43 fastest growing businesses in Idaho. I'm Gretchen Parsons, managing editor for Boise Dev. And I'm Abe Jackson, the color commentator on the radio for Boise State men's basketball. So, you work for Boise Dev. Why is it Peak 43? Well, Abe, that is a good question. Idaho is the 43rd state, and what better number to represent Idaho? You know, my mom was a high school teacher in Caldwell for almost 30 years for history and government, so I actually did know that, but still pretty cool. Well, Abe, it is my job to tell people the facts every day. This is exciting. We've got just about every industry you can think of represented from tech to landscape to food and more. And Abe, tonight the 43 businesses featured have added 950 jobs in just four years and represent more than a billion dollars in gross revenue. Wow, I understand, yes. Give a hand for that, for sure. And I also understand that's more than $600 million of growth. It, it really is a big accomplishment to make this list. It shows grit, determination, and just plain old Idaho work. Let's give everyone in this room a big round of applause. All right, well, we've promised you a fast-moving event, so let's get to it. And just one quick piece of housekeeping before we get started. When your company is revealed in the ranking, please send your representative to the right side of the stage where Margaret is, over there. And uh, she'll get you situated and in line and tell you when not to come on stage and accept your award. All right, well, we're ready. Let's get into this first group of Peak 43. Number 43, CMYK Graphics. Our company provides digital graphics and marketing pieces for all types of businesses, internal and external, in their, into their building. There's no secret formula. What, what we do is just provide really good customer service, on-time delivery. I mean, it's just basic blocking and tackling in business, but we do it really, really well and the quality comes comes with it. Number 42, 50flowers.com. 
The most incredible accomplishment that we have had in 50 Flowers is the family and the history that we have amongst our team. We've been able to cultivate a place of work that is more than just a job. In fact, one of our sayings is, everybody needs a job, but everybody on our team wants a job at 50 Flowers. Number 41, OxyFresh Worldwide. But perhaps our edge in product development is listening to the consumer. You know, we've gone to the extent of getting out in the field and into the homes of consumers. And that's probably the basis for our creativity is, you know, what does the consumer imagine OxyFresh can be for them? And we capture that imagination and turn it into products. Number 40, HC Company. What's next for HC Company is to continue to build on the relationships we have, start to build new relationships, continue to grow employees. As we continue to grow as a company, there's opportunities that develop within our company. And then those employees get the ability to develop their own relationships with new clients. And that's, that's what fosters the growth of our company and gets us moving even further. Number 39, Cole Architects. As I started Cole Architects and took it over, the focus was how do we protect the people and, to, and work with the people that, that drive the firm and grow the firm. Um, so recently we went to a 36 hour work week um, to, to try to pull back the grind. One thing that I am most proud of for Cole Architects, um, the last five years we've been voted the, um, at the top 10 places to work list um, five years in a row. Please welcome to the stage, Aaron Mann, CEO of CMYK Graphics, our number 43 company. Number 42, 50 Flowers, Lisa Roser, founder and CEO. HC Company comes in at number 40. Please welcome Jeff Tonkin, VP of Operations. At number 39, Cole Architects, Matt Huffield, owner and managing partner. What a great first group. Each company on the Peak 43 list saw revenue grow at least 50%. Of course, they're based in Idaho, privately held, and this is important, they are an independent business, not a subsidiary, franchisee, or division of another company. So you might be asking yourself, how did we pick the 43 for peak 43? So how did we do it, Gretchen? Well, Abe Math did that. The winners were ranked based on a percentage of revenue growth from 2020 to 2023. And we want to thank KDP, our accounting partner, for tabulating those results. So let's give another round of applause for our first group, as well as Matt. And now I'd like to introduce the governor of the state of Idaho, Brad Little. Well, thank you for having me. I, uh, I really love this stuff. I, uh, you know, my, I have the great luxury of my job of going all over the state and seeing businesses that are successful. Don, Peak 43 epitomized Idaho's success. Uh, we're, we're the fastest growing state in personal income. We're the fastest growing state in employment. And my idea of building a wall and making Gavin Newsom pay for it is got a problem because I don't know where to build a wall because Oregon wants into Idaho, but that's another issue. But, but a Abe, as you stated, uh, this is a very diverse group from all over the state. Uh, construction, real estate, manufacturing, services, software. When, when Mr. Simplot uh, started, Idaho was dependent upon about four industries, mining, logging, uh, agriculture and food processing. Our success is a result of people like you, people that have created with hard work and innovation have created all these companies that have made Idaho successful. 
Your innovation has created the jobs that put, has launched Idaho into the success. I tell everybody that uh, I don't know what the, national, the world economy, I don't know what the national economy, I don't know what the regional economy is going to do. But all I know is what I see in Idaho is with the diversification and the growth in Idaho, you're going to be better off here than you are anywhere else. So my job, my fellow policymakers' job, with your help, is to make sure that you have the workforce, whether it's K-12, whether it's our university, our great university system, whether it's career technical, that you have roads, water, infrastructure, and you have the least onerous regulatory friction of any state in the nation. With all those things combined, I look forward to coming back to more and more peak 43s. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Governor Little, for being here tonight. We really appreciate you. We also have a few special guests of honor that we'd like to introduce tonight. We are honored to have Mr. Delauer Syed, the Deputy Administrator of the U.S. Small Business Administration, and Ms. Shannon Madsen, the District Director of the U.S. Small Business Administration. Let's please give them a round of applause for being here tonight. Thank you both for attending Peak 43 in the Boise Entrepreneur Week, and thank you for all you do for the small business across the country. It's also our honor to recognize these great businesses making such a big impact on Idaho. Let's meet a few more. Number 38, Lombard Conrad Architects. Our mission as a firm is in public architecture. Saying around the office is that we design architecture for everyone. That satisfaction you get from knowing that a lot of the projects we do are needed by the community, they're funded by the community, they're an essential community resource, and our buildings really become a tool um, for the people providing that essential resource to the community. Number 37, Duft Watterson. The impetus behind creating Duff Watterson was we saw there was a need for a national boutique type agency in the area. And what that means is um, we provide our clients across the country the same tools and skill that you'd find at large national agencies, but because we're privately owned, they get the attention, leadership, and strategic thinking you'd find from a privately owned organization. Number 36, Rodriguez Bakery. It helps, you know, us running the company and our employees, um, you know, be able to fulfill our dreams. I mean, there's a lot of things that we want to do besides just making tortillas. I love making tortillas. Uh, I also have horses. I team rope. I rodeo. Without people supporting us and loving our products, I wouldn't be able to do those other things as well. So I just want to say thank you to everybody in Idaho for supporting Rodriguez Bakery. Number 35, Hempitecture. Hempitex are built our manufacturing facility with a focus really on producing one specific product, hemp wool bat insulation. But today we're producing a number of different products. These products were uh, have already released to the market. Some of were, these products are coming in 2025. And I think Hempitex has positioned themselves as a company that is continuing to remain on the forefront of a really important and emerging sector of bio-based carbon negative building products. Number 34. Freeform. A couple of our core values are to be a passionate expert of our craft and then also to create wow. We complete a space and we'll, we're doing a customer walk with the customer and they're, they're blown away, right? They've never experienced anything like the space that they're in. I couldn't have imagined what it, what it was going to be. And so to go from ideation and design all the way through to execution to being and being able to work in a beautiful functional space is really cool to see. And it's, it's fun to be able to help people along that process. Please welcome to the stage Mark Hazel, the partner and vice president of Lombard Conrad Architects, number 38. <laughs> Next up, we have Ward Duff, CEO and partner of Duff Watterson, our number 37 company.
please welcome CEO Becky Rodriguez and COO Jared LaMarche of Rodriguez Bakery, number 36. And number 34, we have COO Doug Whitfield from Freeform. Well, next, we'd like to introduce you to one of our platinum sponsors, Nick Taylor of Dorsey and Whitney LLP. Hi. You know, um, when I said I would sponsor this, I was assured that I'd be the tallest person on the stage, so <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, thank you, Boise Dev, for inviting us to be a part of this exciting inaugural event. I don't know about you, but for a while there, I would start every morning waking up to the morning Wordle puzzle. And now I spend every morning reading the Boise Dev email to see what's new in Boise. So, <laughs> he did not pay me for that. We are thrilled to celebrate the incredible journey of Idaho's fastest growing companies. At Dorsey & Whitney, we understand the passion, drive, and commitment it takes to grow something from the ground up, because that's exactly what we were doing here in Idaho. When the firm decided to open our Boise office in February of last year, is because we saw something special in Idaho. The same energy and determination that drives the companies being honored tonight is what drew us here. In just over a year, we've grown, gone from three partners to a thriving team of 13 lawyers and business professionals, and our work has expanded to serve businesses not only in, here in Idaho, but around the world. And one of the tipping points for me when we were interviewing firms to come into Boise was not once in the process did Dorsey confuse Idaho and Iowa. So I thought, you know, that's a good sign for a firm from the Midwest. We're a top uh, 100 law firm. We have nearly 600 attorneys, 21 global offices, and Boise has become an integral part of Dorsey's growth story. Like many companies in this room, we saw the opportunity in Idaho, and not just for expansion, but for building relationships with businesses that are shaping the future of this state and beyond. Idaho's growth is often measured by new homes, new subdivisions, and new skyscrapers. Personally, I think of all the orange cones and how I can never get in and out of downtown the same way once. <laughs> but beneath all of that, though, it's companies like the ones in this room that we're recognizing tonight that are the real engines behind this growth. They're not just creating jobs and revenue, they're building legacies for us. We at Dorsey are honored to be here, partnering with Boise Dev to celebrate the spirit of innovation and resilience. Tonight's winners are a testament to Idaho's future as a place where businesses can not only start, but thrive and become market leaders. Congratulations to all of you for your remarkable achievements, and here's to many years, more years of growth and success. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nick. It's really fun to hear about all these companies that are based here in Idaho. It is, Abe, and after tonight, we'll post all of these videos online so you can share them on social media. Just head to boisedev.com and look for the link. Well, let's keep this going and let's introduce our next group. Number 33, Sunshine Landscape. I think what's unique about our company is our culture. We have a great culture. Our employees like working there. Guys that have been there for over 15 years, some of them almost 20, so almost as long as I have, honestly. As we've grown, it's created opportunities for those employees to move up into now some of those people that started out as helpers on a crew are now senior leadership positions, you know? So that's been exciting for me to create growth in our company, to create opportunities for those guys and gals to move up and have new opportunities. Number 32. EGT Solar. I'd say first, you know, nobody knew anything about it. They were skeptical of it even working, which is kind of funny looking back because it's technology that's been here for 45 years, right? So I look back and kind of, kind of laugh at that when you get a phone call from a client after they get their first power bill post first month system installed and oh my gosh, this thing really worked. Uh, which is hilarious because of course it's going to work. So every customer is different. It's more of a custom approach, I would say, making sure you're getting it right and the customer's expectations are met. Number 31, Red Aspen. Being Idaho-based means everything to us. Um, we are just so lucky to have the most amazing community. We're in the city of Meridian and the city of Meridian has helped us so much along the way. We put 
paychecks in the hands of thousands of women every month, but our goal is to put paychecks in the hands of 25,000 women every month. We refer to our brand ambassador as her or she. <laughs> um, and every single decision that we make is based on her, what's best for her, what supports that mission. Number 30, Crank Tank. Those uh, experiences you gain from using the product help you market it so when you're now writing the email or you're creating the ad brief or the digital ad, um, you're gonna highlight what you know works because you've done it yourself. And that's the vital aspect of our business of being in a, a beautiful environment like the Wood River Valley is we get to use the products we sell. Number 29, Keeping Clean Corp. So our mission is to just serve our community. I would say a lot of our clients are elderly people or people that just really need the help with um, cleaning and making sure that their house is uh, maintained. And I feel like we are the people to really help to make sure that they are satisfied with things that they might not be able to have time to do themselves or not able to do themselves. All right, please welcome to the stage Sunshine Landscape LLC and Levi Duckett, president and owner, business number 33. EGT Solar comes in at 32 with Brian Lawley, founder and president. Company number 31, Red Aspen. Co-founders, Jesse McKinney, CEO, Jeannie Reese, CSO, and Amanda Moore, CGO. Now let's hear a few words from our summit sponsor, Andy Scoggin with Scoggin Capital Investment. Yeah, so I'm Andy Scoggin, and I'm the founder and CEO of Scoggin Capital Investment. And uh, really, from our inception, um, we've been all in on uh, investing in Idaho. Uh, we have a little slogan uh, with the company that we um, are preserving Idaho's past and we're investing in Idaho's future because we think there's a lot of things that um, you know, shouldn't be forgotten, including great um, heritage buildings in the state, and, um, and businesses, and also we think there's a lot of vibrancy, there's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of energy going on with the new businesses and the people who, um, who come to Idaho or who have grown up their entire lives in Idaho, they exhibit great grit, ingenuity, passion, they care about people, they care about the product, they care about where they live, and they care about making the place that they live a better place. And we love investing and that kind of passion. Thank you, Andy, and thank you for your support. Well, we're just gonna keep this rolling here and we're gonna give out some more awards. Let's get into it. Number 28, Granite Excavation, Inc. Granite Excavation was founded in 2004, based out of Cascade, Idaho at that time. Did a lot of for service timber type projects. Um, in 2008, I went to work for Granite Excavation. Um, that's when Granite jumped into the municipal world. Now we have five, six crews at work in Valley County, um, McCall, anywhere kind of from Riggins to Garden Valley areas. Um, and then in the Boise Valley, we have about 25 crews that work down here. Number 27, Creative Metal Design. I think what's unique about working for Creative Metal Design is the fact that all of us consider each other family, so we really do bond and work as a team. We always have each other's backs, and um, we have great vendors that work with us. The team we have is probably my favorite part, just because everyone that we have working for us right now, um, we brought on or we kept. I'm proud of the people we have, and they're, they are like family, and, yeah, probably the the best part. Number 26, Wright Brothers, the building company. That growth coupled with new personnel 
and, and everything was extremely exciting. Now it's like, what's next? What's the next bigger apple that we want to go try and chew off? Because we know we can do it. And that's what's exciting. And to be surrounded by uh, amazing employees and people that have that same philosophy and mentality um, inspires me every day. It, it takes a lot of stress off my plate every day, um, knowing that uh, there's that can-do attitude and we're never going to quit attitude. And um, it, it is really an exciting energy to be a part of. Number 25, Stukent Inc. Stukent was founded just over 10 years ago when our founder decided that there were no good course materials for marketing and specifically digital marketing courses at universities at the time. So he partnered with his professor and they created a course and then a simulation to help students understand what digital marketing was, how they could use digital marketing to improve their business performance and what skills they needed and tools they needed to use in order for them to be successful as they left the university. Number 24, Inspire Impact Group. Please welcome to the stage Vice President Dusty Hibbard of Granite Excavation, our number 28th company. Next up, number 27, Creative Metal Design LLC, General Manager Charles Lundergan and Jamie Skybar, the controller and CFO. Please welcome the president and owner of Wright Brothers, the building company, Robert Grubb, number 26. <laughs> and number 25, content marketing manager of Stukent Inc., Julia Johnson. Well, last year when we approached our next speaker about Peak 43, it was just an idea and he was on board right away. Being a part of Boise Entrepreneur Week has been so much fun and it's also just great to be here at Jump. Please welcome TM Rastigar, the CEO of Trailhead and Chair of Boise Entrepreneur Week. <laughs> All right, they just, they just served dinner, so I'm gonna make this quick. Um, truly an honor to be here, but first order of business, let's give a round of applause for Peak 43 for being in this to Boise Entrepreneur Week, y'all. So first, the award for seed round of the year goes to a company that is paving the way in their industry by creating perfectly matched foundations and minutes a.k.a. the Keurig for makeup. Please help me welcome to the stage the founder of Bold To You, Rachel Wilson. All right, we got one more. So for Startup of the Year, this company enables cross-border payments for international students, which I appreciate because I was an international student, paid lots of money to go to Boise State. That's right, that's right. Um, speaking of woo, I think Boise Dev was founded at Trailhead. Give it up for Boise Dev. I digress, I digress, back to my award. So they, they enable cross-border payments and they have made such remarkable progress in such a short time that they truly deserve this honor. They're a shining example of what's possible when passion meets execution. So please help me welcome to the stage, Sunday Paulada, the founder of Pay For Me app. everyone enjoy your dinner all right thank you tm and thank you for letting peak 43 be a part of boise entrepreneur week we're getting closer to number one on our countdown but now it's time to pause for a long distance dedication 
Well, if we said P43 was going to be like a radio countdown, not actually a radio countdown. I was looking forward to playing some Boys to Men, Run DMC, Milli Vanilli. No? All right. We'll just go to another great group then. Sounds good. <laughs> Number 23, SRA 831B Admin. The business owners that we talk to and they've had something happen in their business, had something go wrong, and we're able to help them uh, make that a little better, recoup some cash flow, recoup some expenses that they weren't planning on. Uh, so it's really to help business owners weather that storm. Uh, and like all business owners know, the next storm, it's always on the horizon and you gotta prepare for it. And that's uh, really, when I feel the most uh, reward from what we do is, is helping business owners kind of in those worst times. Number 22, In Time Tech. I'm proud of being, being in this community. Um, and In Time Tech is committed to make a difference. So work in Idaho, for Idaho. In many ways we are making contribution. There are a lot of companies that we work for. Um, so being part of Peak 43 is, is a moment of celebration for us as a company, just like best places to work in Idaho, uh, Inc. 5000, uh, being part of this uh, Peak 43, which just recently launched by you guys. Um, I feel that this is yet another milestone in our journey. Number 21, Jaws Tech. The next focus is kind of specializing in the medical space. Um, we have a large contract that is uh, potential for insole manufacturing. So you take a scan of your foot, plug it into a generative uh, AI software, uh, out spits a CAD file, and we can then print it and ship it directly to the finishing. Goal is to do that for insoles, knee braces, AFOs, and stuff like that. All these different medical applications that are going to be able to utilize this generative design along with the technology that's here at Jaws Tech. Number 20, Stella's Ice Cream. Number one, we want to serve any customer that comes to the door, whether that's gluten-free, nut allergens, if they have dairy intolerances, we have an option for you. But at the same time, serving all kinds of also references people. Uh, we don't care who you are. We don't care where you come from. We don't care your race, your religion, your sexual orientation, your political preference. We don't care. Come on, come all. This is the one place that you should be able to come and enjoy ice cream and leave the worries of the world outside. Number 19, Brinton Sales Group. It was a surprise because <laughs> we didn't know until we were asked to look at our numbers and see that we had that big jump. Um, and it's just, it's really an interesting thing that we, you know, we forget sometimes when you just go along and do your day-to-day -day work and it's like, yeah, you know, we're entrepreneurs. We really started this. It's really our own business. <laughs> Nobody else has input, just our group. And um, so, yeah, that's been really, really fun to see our growth and, um, and to be able to again, share it with, with everybody that we, we stay with. Please welcome to the stage SRA831B Admin and Bree Cohen, Market Director, our number 23 business. In Time Tech comes in at number 22 with Jeet Kumar, President and CEO. One of my favorite places to go Stella's Ice Cream, LLC, the number 20 business, and Kimberly Castor. And the number 19 company is the Britton Group with Devin Britton, CFO and partner. to introduce Becky Woodbury, the President and Managing Director at CLM. Well, I'm the shortest, not the tallest. Uh, good evening, everyone. First, I want to say thank you and congratulations to Don, Kara, and the entire Boise Dev team uh, for producing this fantastic event tonight. It was a pleasure hosting you at CLM as we created the video reel reveals for tonight. So our team had a great time working with you all. Thanks for coming down. At CLM, we're, pa we're passionate about continuous learning. 
And that's key to, you know, businesses who have growth ambitions in mind. And we try to live that value by producing a speaker series called Flint and Steel. And we do that a few times a year. It's usually at the Idaho Historic Museum. Um, it just so happens that we have one coming up uh, just around the corner on October 23rd and thought it would be, a, a, you know, you guys, it's very relevant for this audience. So our speaker will be George Mulhern. He was the CEO of Cradle Point. He has a pretty good track record in business in Idaho. And uh, he, he led, you know, that company from 80 employees to 1,500 employees and really played a key role in that $1.1 billion acquisition by Ericsson in 2020. So he will be sharing insights on company de culture development, strengthening teams, scaling successful companies in Idaho. We felt like that was relevant and wanted to extend an invitation to any of you um, to, to join us. It's a free event. Um, there's a card in front of you. It has a little bit of information on it, but it also has a, a link. So feel free to, to RSVP if you want to come and hear him speak and, and learn a little something along with us. Um, lastly, I just want to say a huge congratulations to every business being recognized tonight. It's really remarkable. The growth that's happening here in Idaho, and we're really proud to be part of this vibrant business community. So congrats to you all, and enjoy the night. Thanks. Well, thank you, Becky, and thank you to CLM for producing all of these fantastic videos. Tonight, we're getting to meet some great companies in so many industries. While the tech sector gets a lot of attention, and we have our share of those, there are so many other types of businesses that are represented here tonight. There really are. We have builders, landscapers, accountants, food companies, ad agencies, architects, business service companies, and many more. It's fun to shine a spotlight on so many great things happening that are making Idaho's economy stronger. Let's get into our next group. Number 18, The Rag Company. We feel really fortunate to be here in the Treasure Valley and surrounded by so many good businesses that we learn from. People have been really generous with their knowledge and sharing their experience with us. And I think that's helped us kind of grow a little faster and grow a little more solidly because people have been willing to share with us. And so we, we want to turn around and be able to do the same. Number 17, Love Every. Love Every is here to help children reach their highest, fullest potential and to help parents feel confident about that process. The children that we're serving are going to be inheriting our planet. And so that means everything from sourcing sustainably harvested wood to organic cotton to thinking about the carbon neutrality of our shipping. What we're working on is some of the most important stuff there is, helping parents and children learn and grow and make the most of their lives. Um, we really care about that. And it shows in the products, it shows in the content, it shows in everything we do. And I'm incredibly proud of that. Number 16, Native Landscape Services. We are most proud of our relationships. We love our team and are so proud to have our team native. We're so grateful for our amazing clients and our relationship is pretty great. Katie and I have always had the dream to run our own business and have the flexibility that we want. We re work really hard on trying to keep everybody happy as much as we can and uh, accommodate any sort of requests that they have. Number 15, App Evolve. All of their clients have apps and so, or want apps built. So the other co-founder and I, we feel like we found a cheat code in the AWS ecosystem. We approach these, these large players um, and say, hey, how about an app dev team? They're like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We could really lose, use that. We're leaving them a bunch of money on the table. So. Uh, once we get a foot in the door, they give us one project, we typically quickly take over and uh, become just their dedicated application development team. Number 14, Lean Law. But when you start from nothing and then you have something, um, that is super gratifying. And then the derivative of that, something that you create, is community, both community inside our company, 
um, and community outside our company. And when you then have an opportunity in a platform to bring people in who then have their opportunities to grow and aspire and become better human beings professionally and personally, that is extraordinarily gratifying. Well, please welcome Carolyn Hennon, the CEO and owner of The Rag Company, and COO John Green, number 18. <laughs> number 17, love every, we have Jake Fouts, the VP of Design and Engineering. Next up, co-founder and co-owner of Native Landscape Services, Kirk Hansen, number 16. <laughs> number 15, partners and co-founders, Patrick Falvey and Jason Martin of App Evolve. So here's some numbers for you. The last group of companies had between 180 and 265% growth. That is extremely impressive. That is impressive indeed, Abe. And at this time, we have a video from one of our gold sponsors, Bank of Idaho. At Bank of Idaho, we make getting to know your business our most important business. This means learning the ins and outs, ups and downs, and day-to-day -day of what you do. Whether your business is feeding the world, or serving your community, building the skyline, or breaking new ground. We'll meet you where you are. If you're looking to start a new business or project, or grow what you're already doing, we're ready to help. Well, thank you, Bank of Idaho, for your support. And Abe, we're approaching the top 10. Yes, we are, and we'll just keep this on rolling, so here's our next group. Number 13, Tapson's Tree Service. Metaphorically, <laughs> it's really just like a tree. If you give it the right conditions, yeah. you know what I mean, and you, and you water it, you know, it will grow. Yeah, when you call, you get me, and you know, when, you, when somebody comes out to your place, and you get him, and, and that's who's doing the job, and if there's ever any problems, you call me again, and you know, and I fix them. So, you know, and, and I think that just, we've learned how to be a team together, and we've, um, you know, we've grown in our relationship and in, in our marriage, and I'm, I'm excited to see what the next five years is gonna, you know, bring. Number 12, Idaho Accounting Services. And we put security first and our clients' needs first, so we do not outsource at all. We only uh, employ full-time or part-time accountants. And I wanted to say that um, I am proud that our business has grown from just me and a handful of clients to all of our staff, and we have over 300 clients all over the United States. Um, my team is, is the reason for that success. Number 11. Valerian Partners. Running our own company um, versus kind of the bigger corporation is, um, you just feel like you have more control, right? You have more influence. Um, you can see day to day uh, the work you do and the impact it has. And sometimes in, in large corporations that can get lost. You know, you worked hard, but you go home at night and you're not really sure how it changed things for the corporation. But, you know, for our company and then even for our clients, that we can just see that. And so it's a lot more uh, rewarding, I think, that way. Number 10, Ammo Squared. Growth really happened in 2020 when there was another ammo shortage. And then when our customers couldn't find ammo anywhere, they just hit the ship button and then they got it. And then their friends were, were wondering, hey, where did you find ammunition? There's none out there. And they said, oh, Ammo Squared. We're combining something very old school ammunition with something very new tech and then uh, making a making a success of it. Number nine, Fulcrum Home Loans. I'm proud of our Idaho roots. I grew up here, my business partner has spent 20 plus years here. The people here are amazing and we've seen a ton of growth inside of our industry, specifically housing. And so it's fun to bring back the the roots that Idaho gave us, the communication, the community, the the what makes Idaho, Idaho, why everyone's flocking here, and then put that out into the business world. Increase communication, increase the way that people um, in the business world, it can be very cutthroat and don't allow that 
to overcome who we are inside our culture and then try to deploy that on a national level. It's been a lot of fun. Please welcome to the stage, number 13, Tapson Tree Service, Jordy Tapson and Riker Tapson, owner. <laughs> Idaho Accounting Services comes in at number 12 with Kelly Richmond, owner and founder. <laughs> Valerian Partners comes in at number 11, co-founders. Michael Ziegler, Tori Nichols, and Jeff King. And now to start off with our top 10, number 10, Ammo Square, Dan Morton, founder and CEO. And please welcome Braden Shaw, the owner of Fulcrum Home Loans, number nine business. another one of our gold sponsors, and now let's hear a message from them. What does together really mean? It's combining two things. It's family. Yeah, but it's my friends too. It's us. Let's go bigger. Hold up, it's the 07 hook and ladder. It's communication. Comunicación. Okay, together is finding, finding common, common ground. ground. Even when others say it can't be done. Like doctors and insurance on the same team. My team. That's together. Let's go. Well, thank you so much, St. Luke's Health Plan. We appreciate your support. Let's roll the tape and meet another group of Peak 43 businesses. Number eight, Wild Rye. So I spent most of my career in the outdoor industry and just saw a massive gap for women's outdoor apparel. And in addition to the gap in the physical product, the marketing narrative was very masculine and intimidating. So I launched Wild Ride to bring women a better option. Um, clothes that are contemporary, technical, beautiful, well-fitting, and um, a marketing narrative to match, encouraging women to get outside however they're excited to be in the mountains, in the fresh air, spending time with friends, or in competition. Number seven, Mavic Ventures. I look at the little things, I think, more, um, because like when you look at it, like when we have a recruiter, or one of our team members that get, finds a creative way to get into like some new innovative company that we've been trying to get into for a while, like the energy that brings about like, getting that like little success and kind of the opportunity to go continue building a reputation in the market, like that feels so much more um, than hitting, you know, like a revenue goal, right? I mean, those are obviously the things that keep the doors open, but um, I, I think looking at the smaller things and kind of those little successes that we get, like they add a lot more energy to that fire. Number six, Adler Industrial. We own over a thousand acres of land in the Treasure Valley, and we own over four million square feet of industrial buildings. We have our own construction company, we have our own property management, our own leasing, and because we do everything in-house, we're able to be more competitive on our pricing, which then allows our, our end users to have lower rents and lower overall operating costs. Number five, Jim Reapers. Number four, Boise Valley Heating and Air. Uh, we, we pay high attention to the small details. A lot of our work gets covered up by uh, you know, drywall, so you don't really see mo most of it, but uh, we're very, uh, I would say, nitpicky, and we try to make sure that even though it's not always seen, it's felt, you know, and we, we do, we're all responsible for the comfort of the environment and space. So we, we, we pay very high attention to detail, even on work that might not be seen or noticed. It's just felt. <laughs> Number seven, Darren Koontz, the founder and CEO of Mavic Ventures. Number seven. Please welcome CEO of Adler Industrial, Michael Adler. And 
And number four, the owner of Boise Valley Heating and Air, Dennis Kuzmenko and COO Grant Morris. We're going to welcome to the stage uh, Don Day and Kara of Boise Dev, who put this whole event on. Thank you guys so much. So, so I was just thinking how flawlessly this event is going. <laughs> and then our confidence monitor froze right as we were supposed to go on stage. So, so. we're just going to stand here and we're going to say a couple things off the top of our head. Yeah. First of all, I think it's really important to thank our presenting sponsor, Andy Scoggin with uh, Scoggin Capital Investment. We saw this early on and supported it. Let's give a round of applause for him. <laughs> We also have three platinum sponsors that we would like to thank tonight. CLM Northwest, who produced the winner videos that you're seeing tonight, Alturas Capital, and Dorsey and Whitney LLP. All of these companies were instrumental in helping make this event and platform a reality. Additionally, we have four gold sponsors. Thanks, Abe, for the script. Bank of Idaho. KDP, St. Luke's Health Plan, and Trailhead Boise. We thank each of you for supporting Pete 43 and these growing companies. We are honored to recognize them. There are also several companies who are part of the Peak 43 and decided to become platinum sponsors. Um, thank you to these companies, Adler Industrial, The Brenton Group, CMYK Graphics, Duft Watterson, Freeform, Lombard Conrad Architects, Portman Square Group, Rodriguez Bakery, and SRA 831B Admin. <laughs> We'd also like, like to thank our wonderful team. Um, it has taken a village to put this event on, build all the, the um, profiles, the videos, everything. So thank you to the Boise Dev team and our extended team. And if you're at a sponsor or celebration table tonight, we would like to thank 3,100 Cellars, Idaho's only sparkling winery, for providing the sparkling wine for your table. And I have to tell you, Kara did a profile on them in Boise Dev Eats, our weekly food newsletter. If you're not getting that, sign up for it. It's really fun. And they signed up to do this, and we really appreciate their support. Uh, we'd also like to invite you to our next event, The Intersection. We did this last year. It was really fun, and I'm very excited about the lineup we have this year. It's a lively, little less than half-day event where we bring together leaders from different sectors to look at how key pieces of Idaho's economy fit together. So this year, we've booked the mayors of Boise and Meridian, Lauren McLean and Robert Simison. I'm really excited for Margaret to uh, have that conversation. We also are bringing together Gemma Gaudette of Boise State Radio and um, Nate Shellman. I almost forgot Nate Shellman. Please don't tell him that. Of KBO, actually do. If you know <laughs> Nate, tell him I almost forgot his name. Of KBOI Radio. And this part's really fun. Two Peak 43 winners that are in the room tonight. Jesse McKinney of Red Aspen and Dan Morton of Ammo Squared. You can get your tickets right now at the Boise Dev website. Yeah, and via this QR code, and the early bird ticket price um, is available through the end of the week, so we'd love to see you there. <clears throat> Thanks to all of you for being part of this. Congratulations to you and your teams who have worked incredibly honored to get here, and we are so honored to celebrate you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Karen and Dawn. And we've hit you with a lot of facts tonight about the list from the 950 new jobs to the $600 million in total growth from these 43 companies. And I'd have one more to share as well. The median growth, the average growth of the 2024 peak 43 is 147%. That is fantastic. I'm pretty, pretty curious now to see what the growth is for our top three companies. So we're gonna introduce number two, number three, and number two right now. Number three, Portman Square Group. I think what's most unique about Portman Square Group is that we are working with Fortune 50 companies across the globe 
and we're also working with our neighbors here in Boise. We have the ability, as Mike and I chose to settle back here in Boise, we were able to grow the business here in Boise and yet still maintain our worldwide reach and the way we've served our clients. But at the same time, it's given us this opportunity to work with Boise and Idaho companies and help them and help our neighbors grow alongside us. Number two, Fromley. I personally am most proud of the fact that my wife started this company and she is a very creative, hardworking person. And I'm also very proud of her that she also had the strength to, to step aside when everyone else wanted her to keep working. I'm also very proud that our son um, has helped us significantly with expanding our work into Georgia, actually. And I'm also very proud of our team. We have a very uh, amazing, strong team who accomplishes so much for such a small group of people. Please welcome to the stage, Portman Square Group, our number three company, Emily Baker, president and co-founder. And now our number two company, Fromley. Stefan Lazaro, Director of Sales and Marketing. All right, well we've met 42 incredible local companies, and now it's time to unveil this year's fastest growing company in Idaho. And for that, we're gonna throw it out to Gretchen who's in the Jump Plaza. Thanks, Abe. It's so much fun to be here at Jump, and we thought, what better way than to unveil our fastest growing company than on Boise's biggest TV screen? Ladies and gentlemen, this year's number one on the Peak 43, Gorilla Mind. I, I think I'm most proud of seeing the growth of our employees, anywhere from entry level to leadership. Um, again, we have very low turnover, you know, and seeing um, people develop, um, seeing the camaraderie. Um, it's not easy, you know, during this time, this fast growth, it's fun, no doubt about it. Um, and we enjoy it, but there's a multitude of challenges as you scale up, you know, and having team members that are, are there, um, the lights are always shining on all of us because we're not big enough to like, you know, hide in the corner. Um, so everyone has to take on challenges and we have to be a strong team to keep executing on those. You know, and then accomplishments, you know, I think get, seeing our products go on the shelves in the vitamin shop earlier this year, going on the shelves in GNC and then last month going on the shelves at Walmart. I mean, those are, you know, it, it's, it's Americana, you know, so seeing that happen, you know, in itself is are really, you know, great prizes. Please welcome to the stage, the number one company, Gorilla Mind and Morgan Walton, Human Resource Generalist and Facilities Coordinator. Congratulations again to Gorilla Mind on ranking number one. They had 2,079% revenue growth from 2020 to 2023. And you can read more about them tomorrow in Boise Dev AM in your inboxes, that's from me. And also you can read about them on boisedev.com. I hear it's live now. Uh, all right, it's live now. <laughs> and we do have one more surprise tonight. Oh, really? Yes, it's in the center of each of your tables. And we'll ask someone from the table there to lift up the centerpiece and set that aside. And you'll find a black box underneath there. And once more, we would like to thank all of our sponsors for helping make Peak 43 a reality. And we'd also like to congratulate all of you, the inaugural Peak 43. Let's give yourselves another round of applause.
The grit, the work, the ingenuity that you and your team show is incredible, and Idaho is a better place thanks to all of you. If all the individuals who accepted an award tonight could please come up onto the stage, we'd like to get a photo of the inaugural Peak 43. The photographer will also be out in the lobby if you'd like to take some pictures with the award and with your team. We hope you have a safe and celebratory evening, and we will see you next year at Peak 43.